I get it. Anything with the word nano sounds a little scary, but here's the truth. Nanohydroxyapatite isn't dangerous. What most people are worried about is nanoparticles crossing the epithelial barrier, which is the lining of your mouth and digestive system. But that would only happen if particles were shaped in a certain way, small enough and chemically stable in the body. But nanohydroxyapatite doesn't meet that criteria. We use rod-shaped nanohydroxyapatite in knobs, not needle-shaped, and it's been shown to dissolve rapidly in gastric acid. That means even if you swallow a bit, your body breaks it down just like it would any other calcium source. It doesn't linger it doesn't build up in your organs and it's not floating around in your blood. And when it comes to remineralizing enamel, nanohydroxyapatite outperforms micro because it has greater surface area, better bioavailability, and more efficient binding to the enamel surface because of the first two. Micro just can't reach into the tiny defects and early lesions the way nano can. You get better coverage, better results, and it's still completely safe. Now, if you're still curious, I highly recommend reading the SCCS final opinion from the European Union. It's a gold mine. They evaluated safety, size, shape, dissolution, everything. In their conclusion, nanohydroxyapatite is safe up to 10% in toothpaste. We use 5% in knobs with full confidence.